Okay, so let's move on now to something a bit more advanced. I'm going to open the package JSON in one of my Angular projects. And um, as I type in the dependency section, I get NPM modules as content assist suggestions. Even the version here is the latest version of this particular module. Really handy not having to look up NPM modules or their versions uh, manually. Uh, let's move on now to some TypeScript. This is an Angular component. Uh, this is a types of class co corresponding to that component and we do have a couple of errors in it. The first is uh, I probably used the wrong module to import component and I'm going to use content assist to help me out. And observe that we do have validation as you type. So the moment I fix that error, the error marker actually went away. Second one, we haven't imported on in it and in this case I'm going to use a quick fix action to do the import for me. Finally, if I press control and hover over get repos here, you see that um, uh, I do get a preview of the implementation of this method. Uh, so really great being able to see that in this class without actually navigating to it. I'm going to click anyway to go to that service. Uh, this one has a couple of errors as well. Uh, so the repo I interface probably doesn't exist. Content assist to the rescue again, complete that. Um, and I'm going to use quick fix in this case to see what's wrong here. So we've used the wrong quotation marks. I can either fix it, disable the rule, or I can look at the documentation to see uh, what, um, what the requirements of this particular rule are. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, disable the rule for now. And uh, let's move on now to this, uh, the HTML file corresponding to this component. If I open that up, uh, Notice that a particular binding is missing for this particular element. So I'm going to use a snippet, uh, let's say ng model, to help me insert that binding. Content assist again shows me fields that are in my TypeScript class, and I use that auto completion to help me out. Uh, I can press Control and hover over name, and actually see that name is of type string. Again, very handy not having to go back to the TypeScript class to, to figure this out. So as you can see, um, Codemix makes Angular development uh, pretty handy and TypeScript development in general as well. So you'd have similar benefits for uh, Vue development or React, uh, for example.